Right, so in this quick tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to get VMware Workstation Pro for absolutely free. Yes, you don't need to pay anything. You don't need any license key. This is coming from Broadcom and themselves. They have basically made the full version free. Yes, the pro version that you used to pay like $100 for is free now. Now, you just need to follow a certain URL to get it because it's technically hidden. Right, so let me actually show you how to get it. All you need to do is open up your browser. Now, in the description below or in the comments down below, there will be a link. Link. You need to click this link or paste it into your browser and come to this web page. Once you come to this web page, you need to choose either Mac or Windows, right? I'm on Windows and most likely you are on Windows as well. So just choose the option that you're on. I'm going to click this one because I'm on Windows, as I said before. The website is going to redirect you to a login page. Now you just need to register your own account. There's no really any verification process, so don't stress out. Just register your own account with some email. Now, if you are wondering where is the register button, it is here. So it says login. You just need to click register over here. Now, once you register your account, you might get asked for a verification on the email. Just verify and then just sign in using the account you have just registered. Now, once you sign into your account, you might get asked for some extra details like your name, like your address. If you want to put your real name and your real address, but I just put some gibberish for obvious reasons, right? So just put anything you want. And what you're looking for is you're looking for this button here, free software downloads available here. You're looking for this option here, right? Just click it and you're going to get about 20 free results, right? It says here 20 free results. But you're not, I mean, if you want to use any of these options, you're free to do so from here. But what you need is VMware Workstation Pro for virtual machines because this is obviously the purpose of this video. So if you type in VMware Workstation or just Workstation on its own, if you really, really want to, you can take the worst basically option. This is the free version of player. I recommend just getting the Workstation Pro because it's free. So why would you not get it? Right. So I recommend doing getting the VMware Workstation Pro because it is, as I said, like it is like five times better because there's more features and it's just about three times faster. So get the VMware Workstation Pro and here you just need to choose the setting, either Windows or Linux. I'm on Windows, I'm going to take Windows. Just download um, the latest release, right, for the best um, results. And from here, you just need to click this HTTPS download button. I might ask you for something. Oh, it didn't actually ask me this time. So just save it to your desktop or somewhere, right? I'm going to save on desktop. And once you save on desktop, that's basically you. You just need to install it. Now, the cool thing about this uh, basically program is that if you have any other version of VMware, it will actually get rid of it for you. It will uninstall it, and this is going to be the only version that you have, right? Next, accepted agreement, right? Um, yeah, why not? Uh, no, no, don't want that. Nope. And install. And basically, it's going to take a second to install. Right, so as you can see, this was very, very simple and it says finish. And if you just basically launch VMware Workstation, so for me, it's actually here. Right, so just click on it. Right, and so once you launch your program, you can just open a virtual machine. Obviously, make sure that it is a VMware because VirtualBox will not work with this. And um, the cool thing also that you don't need to create any virtual machines. Like if you used VMware Workstation Player, you don't need to do anything. You can just open up the virtual machine as normal and it will work. Now, also the cool feature is the snapshots, which I kind of missed um, in, in the VMware player, but they are here for now for free. So just take, it, take, take use of them and that's it. Right. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll try to answer as soon as possible and peace. Thank you for watching.